Hey guys, William here with another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. I love this game so much. It is so much fun. I literally just finished uploading the City Skylines video for the 17th. Um, and anyway, so I thought I'd record this for you guys because it's really fun. I love playing this game. I can't get enough of it. Let's continue the game! Oh wait, I gotta hit continue. There you go. Now let's continue the game. So my Xbox controller right here. I love this game so much. Well, I'm gonna turn off brightness on my display because it's not very bright. So oh, it is. There we go. Sorry about that. We had to do that play. This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. <laughs> if I can find her. Let's speak. Sup? Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love is a lie? <laughs> For sure. Uh, the only person you can trust in this world is yourself. Everything else is just hormones and fairy tales. <laughs> a cynic's wisdom takes no prisoners. Budding dramaturge. May your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Uh-huh. Bored. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. It's a show must go that on, you dumbass. Is I don't know what sojourn means. Weird. And I'm not gonna Google it because I don't care. Of all the possible scenarios involving Victoria Chase and swords, this one is easily the least excited. Yeah. If I know Steph, she must have been super excited to be the Lion of the Light Board tonight. Sucks. I'm gonna play a few. Buttons! Chloe Price presents Firewalk Laser Light Spectacular. <laughs> Ooh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. And the football team will just bully me more. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because well, I just realized. weakness. Just like you're doing right now. That dude now. looks like the old Dad, guy from Arrested when Development. When you learn that this isn't about you and your problems, 
This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. He's a dick. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna remain silent. Nathan. I still love the hot dog man shirt. There you go. Speak there. I said speak. Hey. There you go. Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. <laughs> Are you kidding? Who cares if he's an asshole? Nathan's dad is a bajillionaire. I take that over poor and nice any day. Money isn't everything, Chloe. Yeah, that's what people with money keep telling me. But it's true. If you look past his money, I think you'd see that you and Nathan are actually a lot alike. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm yeah, serious. you dick! You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? When I'm super pissed, <laughs> the last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. But maybe it's what I need. Like, uh, yesterday. I'm sure he'd be glad someone gives a shit about him. Even when the rest of us don't. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. That's actually super helpful. Awesome. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, Celet? Guess they don't call it drama for nothing. Why don't they say that to their faces? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. All right. Hey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> super lame, Chloe. I mean, super lame, fair maiden. Great, uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Now. Or did David... Did Doug dig David... Betty bought a bit of butter, but she found the butter bitter. She's Betty just warming bought up her voice. A bit Sucks for Betty. Betty bought a clueless, klutzy Chloe, clumsily crowded, careful creatives. Clueless, yeah. wait a second. Chloe, clueless, klutzy Chloe, clumsily. Crowded, Looks like Victoria creatives. has finally pushed Dana over the edge. Oh, okay. Uh, Rachel. Death. Clueless, klutzy, Chloe, clumsily crowded. You know, I'ma crowd you. I'ma just, I'ma just, there you go, I'm crowding you. I should find Rachel. Clueless, klutzy, Chloe, clumsily crowded, careful. Rachel? Come on, V. You got this. You got this. 
Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I want. You bitch. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Yeah, I guess. I mean, even if you are super lame to me all the time, I hope you don't completely suck up there. And even if you do suck, who cares? I mean, let's be real. You're not Rachel. But that's okay, because ah. you're Victoria Chase. You know? Even if you suck. Ah. <sighs> Oh my god. Thank you. Oh, that's exactly what I needed to hear. What's, what's uh, Rachel doing? Okay. What's Rachel doing? She was cool. messing with something. Tea? For your instrument. We want you at your best tonight. Okay, V. Time to shine. What did you do to that tea? Oh, Price, that was epic. You distracted her just long enough for me to slip those pills into her tea. I did. Oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before the swing party. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Ah! Touché. Huh. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. No. No. What? No. Uh, uh, oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The cynic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at Fuck. it. Fuck, my dear. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. Fine! <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. Can do what I did last time I played this game. I seriously have to memorize take all of this. I'm not gonna memorize it. Thanks, I'm just gonna take Rachel. pictures of it with my phone camera. So, uh, not cheating. I just don't like memorizing all. Yeah.
A, do the right thing. Fuck, I don't want to do this! Okay, I have the picture up on my phone, right here. I have the pictures up on my phone that I took of the script. I'm just going to read it off. How it wants me to do it, however. By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou oh. art inclined to sleep. <sighs> Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm off. <clears throat> oh, oh, that's I you. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I hey, find God. amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Oh shit, uh, Hell is empty, hell is, hell is empty. Cried, <clears throat> hell is empty and all the devils are here. Yes! But are they, Ariel, safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Fuck, how where am I supposed to walk? Pray, use the vantage of that broken ship to prove the safety of the king's good men. Not a hair perish, and uh, as thou baddest me, okay, I okay. have dispersed them about the isle. In troops. Bravo, Ariel. Thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. More toil. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line. Is it? What's going on? <laughs> but fuck, 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 thou why did you my grip? freedom? I took these pictures Didn't for a thou? reason. I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with Excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, 
wish you to be free. Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Sing it! Yes. I am most pleased. Your duty, done for now. So go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. You crushed it. So good. You're a born thespian, my dear. I'll be chasing you down next year. And the ending, yeah, well, she absolutely spell, transformative. Yeah. I am humbled. Thanks. What the hell just happened? Strangeness of your Was that real? Put heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! As wicked do as e'er my mother brush with raven's feather from unwholesome fen, drop on you both a southwest blow on ye and blister you all o'er. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Oh ho, oh ho! Would it had been done! Thou didst prevent me, I had peopled else this isle with Calibans. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. <laughs> Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? Oh, it hey, carries a it? brave form, but it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world, do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore. And they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown. And what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands. With the help of your good hands. Hey, we did it! We did the play.
No, no, not going out there, no. Yeah? Hella dead. Huh. Well then. Oh, it's her. Fuck her! What you doing here? But anyway, guys, I think it's been, I've been recording for about 27 minutes now. And, yeah, I think I am going to... <laughs> I think I'm going to leave this episode here. If you liked it, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for my awesome uploads. If you have a comment, question, concern, or idea, just want to start a conversation with me, leave it in the comment section down below. Right, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye! Woo!